Today we have another arcade archive for you. This time, Sengoku. Sengoku originally was released back in 1991 for the Neo Geo MVS arcade hardware, and then on the AES home console shortly thereafter. It's a simplistic beat-em-up in the same vein as Final Fight and the Streets of Rage series. If there was one genre that I always felt the Neo Geo could have used more games, it was the beat-em-up genre. The large sprites and the smooth animation, the system was just perfect for this genre. But ultimately, there weren't all that many beat-em-ups released for the platform. Instead, it would become known for its fighters and the Metal Slug series more so than pretty much anything else. Well, maybe except for a couple of shooters here and there. So how does this old beat-em-up hold up after all these years? If I'm being honest, this isn't one you'll be spending too much time with. It's not that it's an awful game, more so that it just hasn't aged as well as its follow-up sequels have. Movement is somewhat slow and stiff, and that ultimately is what keeps this game from reaching its true potential. While there are certainly some unique gameplay elements, such as being able to collect colored orbs to acquire new weapons, and being able to transform into a wide assortment of unique characters after you rescue them in-game, the rest of the experience is extremely limiting. Most of this has to do with the fact that there are only two action buttons, one for your standard attack and then a jump button, which you can then pair with the attack button in order to perform a jump kick. The last button is your transform button and that's it, that's all. The one way you can make things ever so slightly more interesting is by inviting a friend over to play, although it doesn't dramatically change the gameplay. There is a wide assortment of distinct levels and you constantly zip between the lower world and the Japanese mythological heavens. This is nice and does offer up some sense of progression, but the simplistic nature of the game will ensure you don't come back too often. There are simply way better offerings on the eShop right now as part of the Arcade Archives collection, including the likes of some excellent Metal Slug games and Garou Mark of the Wolves, to name a few. The audio-visual presentation is nice, but dated, especially for a Neo Geo release. It was released very early on in the platform's life, and it shows. The animations are stiff, and the sprites, while detailed, lack that usual Neo Geo flair, and the music isn't as memorable as so many other SNK classics are. This release comes up with all the extra goodies you've come to expect from Hamster's releases, meaning you have multiple versions of the game to play and a wealth of arcade settings to adjust. Sengoku is a hard one to recommend, if only because Sengoku 2 is so much better. So I would strongly recommend waiting for that one to release, unless you're truly a hardcore Neo Geo fan. I might be making the game sound awful, and it isn't. It's just that, like I said before, it hasn't aged nearly as well as so many other offerings on the platform have. If you're looking for a beat-em-up right now, this is pretty much the only one that's available on the eShop for the Neo Geo. But believe me, I'm fairly certain the rest of the series will come in time, and those games will be well worth waiting for.